This off-calendar, off-schedule uh, hike, which we just saw, does it suggest, uh, do you believe it, it, it certainly means now that the RBI is behind the curve? Yes, absolutely. Uh, similar to Fed, I think RBI is also behind the curve. Um, just the fact that this is the first uh, hike uh, after the uh, easing uh, post-pandemic, that tells you the story. And inflation is running at 7%. So I think it was high time RBI took action and uh, tightened monetary policy to control the inflation. How much capacity or room, wiggle room, uh, does the government have to try and uh, tackle inflation in terms of uh, 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 increasing uh, subsidies, especially for things like uh, uh, fuel? I'm, I, 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 uh, I'm, I'm wondering. I don't think uh, there would be any substantial subsidy um, on the fuel front. In fact, uh, the government has been increasing fuel prices to reduce subsidy. Um, but uh, I think uh, the uh, tax collection this year has been very robust because of the strong economic growth. So I don't think the government will be focusing on providing subsidy to control fuel prices. Their focus would be more on, uh, on, on resolving the supply chain issues so that food prices and other kind of prices don't go, uh, don't go up substantially. Um, I think a large part of the inflation control will still come from RBI by tightening policy so that uh, demand comes down a bit and that support uh, the narrative of uh, contained inflation. Suresh, uh, Sri Lanka is an extreme, perhaps idiosyncratic case, but do you feel that sovereign default risk has risen now in a higher rates environment in this region? Um, selective countries, but broadly, if I look at the Asian region, I don't think uh, the, the, there's a risk of a default, um, especially a lot of the countries has built up their forex reserves over the last few years. Uh, the currencies are much more stable. Um, uh, and that's why even the fact that dollar has been so strong for the last few months, you have not really seen any panic uh, within the region, with the exception of Sri Lanka or Pakistan. So I don't think there's a, a broader concern about the default risk within Asia.